here we have our source, I'll turn it on, and, and here we have our hood. And so you have a process generating air pool contaminant. If the fan's not there, oops, wrong one. Um, the contaminant is, it, 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 it is emitted. It's, it's emitted with some force, but it's basically swirls around. It's not going any. It's not going in any direction. So, as I move the, it's currently set up. This hood is generating sufficient air velocity at this point to um, to control the airborne contaminant given off here. If I move it away, it's still controlling it. If I move it away, it's now partially controlling it. So some part of the cloud is escaping control. If I move to here, it's almost no control at all. So for any particular process, there is, uh, at any particular airflow rate, there's a capture distance. This is the capture distance for this particular system, for this, this um, source and this hood running at this volume flow rate. Um, and there's also a capture velocity. So I could turn off my source, get out an anemometer, and measure the air velocity at that point. And that would be the capture velocity for this process in this room under these conditions. Now, one of the problems with capturing hoods is that the source is outside of the hood. And of course, that makes it very susceptible to drafts, which could come from the process, could come from cooling fans and, and, and so on. So you, you'll see that I've lost control, I've now gained control. I've lost control, I've gained control. And that's, that drafts can travel a long distance and be extremely disruptive to uh, capturing hoods. Also, this is a fairly quiet process. It's not generating much, much air velocity. But if I make the process energetic with this uh, whisk, you see I've lost control. I've made it more energetic. I'm the process is generating air movement, a lot of air movement, and this this uh, hood won't control it. Now I can ramp up the volume flow rates and move the source nearer and I'm, I've now got control again. You can see that if I move it away, I've lost control. If I move it near, I've, I've got control. So if I now if I turn off the source and measure the air velocity at that point, I've got the, the capture velocity for this process. So although there's tables of capture velocities, you can work out your own capture velocity for virtually any process. Okay.